Hey guys, it's Addie, and today I'm going to be doing some knotless, goddess, bohemian-ish type of braids. I can't even hold you. I've been low-key dreading it just because I love braids. I love how they look. First of all, hate the effort it takes to get the final product. Hate the effort, the parting, the braiding, hate it all. And then two, for some reason, I always end up crying while doing my braids. Like there hasn't been a time where I've done my braids and have just loved them straight out. I have always shed a tear or two in between. And I really just don't feel like crying. So I shampooed, I did an Afro G two-step protein treatment just cause it was about that time for me. I soak press a lot. So it's important for me to get my little protein treatments in. Deep conditioned, deep. Deep condition. Don't skip your deep conditioners. For my leave-in, I use this Afogee Keratin Reconstructor Green Tea Spray stuff. I've been using that recently and I think I love it. For my heat protectant, after I blow dried or like I guess before I blow dried, I used the Silk Elements Heat Protectant Spray. <laughs> I haven't done my braids in a year, so I don't know if you can tell. I did do some little practice parting and braiding. Just because it's been a year. I have not done braids in a year, but you know what they say. Doing braids is like riding a bike. So, what's really funny is that probably two weeks ago, I was going back and forth with myself, deciding on if I even wanted to do braids. Because like, I feel like the only con of braids is the installation and the takedown. The in-between, not wait, being able to wake up and go. I'm ready for that. I think that's what's like keeping me here. But like the funny part is the moment I was like, okay, I'm just not gonna do the braids. I'm, I don't even keep them in long enough. It's such a hassle, whatever. Why Wigs emailed me about human hair braiding hair. And I felt like that was a sign because it was like literally the same night I decided against doing my braids. So I was like, okay, this has to be a sign. I need to do some braids. And I can't wait to see what like human hair braids feel like. Cause I'm not doing my whole head human hair. I'm just doing like the little bohemian goddess leave out strands human hair this time. So for today's products, I'm gonna be using a braiding gel, specifically the neat braiding gel, neat conditioning braiding gel. Of course, a comb, rat tail comb. For the actual main base of my braids, I'm using plain braiding hair in the color one per use. And of course, for the human hair, I have body wave braiding hair. Cause I'm, I'm going for more of like a looser, softer vibe. That is so pretty. I'm pretty sure this only came in one color. So it might be, I feel like it's gonna be like a little light. Maybe not. Cause like, it has like, I don't know if you can see it. It has like kind of like a brown tint to it, but it might just be because like my vanity is so bright. This is a three bundle. I got three bundles, 24 inches. I feel like I'm only gonna need this one bundle though. I might. Remember when I said I usually cry when doing my braids? I just had to redo it all. I pre-parted everything. This is a day later. Today I was supposed to just be on the braiding part, but I realized that my parts were gargantuous. And I just wanted them a little smaller. So I can't lie, my parts don't look amazing like at all since I had to repart everything and I was real frustrated and fed up and I really just didn't care anymore. First of all, to part, I set up my phone on a tripod in front of my bathroom mirror and I used the Snapchat camera since it lets you zoom in on the front camera mode but your actual iPhone camera doesn't for some reason. And I angle it so I can part with both of my hands free. I do have to move the tripod from left to right depending on which side of my head that I'm doing but... This is just how I do it. When parting, I like to move my head to help part so that I don't have to move my hand as much. And I find that it's easier, faster, and my parts are so much straighter. Like right here, I'm turning my head and not moving my hand so that my head is gliding against the comb to create the part. I do still use my hand, but for the majority of the parting, I can just turn my head to help me. And it's so much easier this way. Here's a really good example, like my head is doing most of the work right here. Like I barely moved my hand if, if I even moved it at all. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Right here, like just gliding it across the scalp.
Here I'm just doing the bricklayer method so that I can part off my individual boxes from my braids. Okay, so I know like I'm basically done, but after I finish this braid, so I still have one, two. I will say this is gonna be the only braid that I actually feed the human hair into. I didn't put human hair on every single braid just because I didn't want it too, too full, too voluminous. Take my braid, split it into three. And then I start braiding. Depending on your density of hair, so I kind of like to braid a couple like notches down, probably like a half an inch to an inch before I add in any hair. And then this is when I start adding the hair. The hair's really thin. I really I split it up super thin just because I found that that gives a really consistent braid all throughout my head rather than having like really fat pieces of braiding hair. Then I'm gonna feed it in. Oh, I shouldn't have worn a black shirt. I feed in one and then once I, I keep braiding down until I feel like that piece that I added is secure, braid down again make sure that piece is secure and then my last piece and all these pieces are about the same size i've tried to obviously they're going to vary a little bit but i've tried to make them all about the same size and that's how i get my braids kind of consistent some of them are kind of fat i can't lie but at the end of the day i did my own hair you know and that's how you get your nice little braid i didn't i didn't add the human hair what's up with me Am I okay? I like to take like really fine pieces of the human hair. I don't know why. I think I just don't want it too, too bulky, especially with the body wave. I really just wanted it to make the braids look fuller. Like I still get that boho effect. It's not too voluminous. So I do this literally the same as the other pieces of braiding hair, but for the strand I'm gonna leave out, I just take it and I clip it up. You can just leave it like that and braid it, but I find that it can fall down. And because the hair is so silky, sometimes it's hard to even tell. If you're like in the zone and you're really not paying attention, the hair can fall down and like get caught while you're braiding. And then just braid it down again. For this piece, I'm gonna probably add in the braiding hair a little earlier just cause it's right on the corner of my edge a little bit. And right there, my hairs are a little finer and thinner just cause like that's where my edges are. So I really want so to get that braid the same sh size. Oh my God. So to get that braid the same size, I just add the hair in earlier instead of braiding down too far. So I added in one piece, braided it down until it felt secure adding a second piece braiding it down until i feel like it's secure enough and my third piece braiding it down braiding it down and for this piece i'm not adding human hair i'm gonna finish this one and then i'm moving on to the close-ups that you can really see what i'm doing i split the hair into three sections and i braid down about an inch or like half of an inch of the way before feeding in anything it kind of helps if your hair is thicker or if you just want to maintain your grip on the braids i take my first piece of hair and i attach the feed in piece into the side and the middle legs of my braid and i use three total pieces when feeding in the hair for each individual braid I'm saying side and middle piece because depending on how you braid I think I don't know I think I braid under so I attach it to the right in the middle piece but it's really all trial and error like you really just have to try it for yourself for this next piece coming up it's just for demonstration purposes after I installed it I take it right out, but it's just so you could get a really good view of the feed-in process 
just because I feel like the ones near my scalp aren't doing it justice. So I take my piece of braiding hair and I attach it to the side and the middle piece and I literally pretend like it's not even there. I just attach it and I keep on braiding down. It's, it might feel awkward and it might feel like it's gonna fall out but like literally just keep braiding down. Like once you get a good grip it just, it literally just attaches I promise. So this will be the last braid that I'm going to be demonstrating on, but another thing that can help is adding gel to the piece that you're feeding in before adding in the hair. Just so that you can kind of feel the difference between the hair that's getting fed in and the hair that's already connected to the braid. And it also helps with keeping the braids neat and compact. We're done. We're done. I told myself I would never do small braids again after this, but I really like how this looks. So, fuck. Now, for all the specs of the braids. So I was very close because there's 67 braids. That's a lot. Literally double the amount of braids I had before. What braiding hair did I use? I used, obviously there's none in the pack because I've used it all, but it was the Freetress Braiding Hair, Freetress Braid 101 in the shade one. This is what the pack looks like. It's like a bluish, yellowish pack. This is the 56 inch pack. For the human hair portion of the braids, which is actually really nice. This is actually really nice. It's so soft. It's no tangling. I like that anyway. For the human hair, it's Y Wigs sent me three bundles of 24 inch in the natural color. This is the body wave style. Like you can see, like it's not too much, but like I turn and you can like see the, some of the body wave pieces, but like it's not too voluminous, like with like water wave or like Spanish wave hair. But I only used one bundle for how many pieces of braiding hair per braid i used about three pieces per braid and like let let's say this is the braiding hair bundle i took about this much hair like it's really not a lot like i don't even think the camera is doing it justice under the braids like on this side like under i did about one piece per braid you can see like one piece down here there's like one up here one down here one piece per braid as i got higher so about like at this area of layer i did like a couple pieces per braid you can see i have one down here and then like one up here i did like two pieces per braid just because i didn't want it too bulky so the lower half has like one piece to like no pieces the middle layers have like one piece at the top one piece at the bottom and then the very top layers have either usually just like one like closer to the top like this one's like really close to the top wait where is it yeah this one's like really close to the top it's really nice like, i can literally run my fingers through it to the point where i low-key don't even need mousse but i'm gonna put mousse anyway just because it's part it's part of the vibes like you have to i mean i guess i'll do a 360 it doesn't look that good from the back. Remember, I almost cried during parting. Like, I didn't give a fuck anymore. 360, 360. 360. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hit him with the side part for a while, though. 
Yeah, I'm really fucking with this eye part. Trust me, mousse. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just so you can like see the curls a little better. I'm like kind of scrunching them. These are so lightweight too. Like I could really throw it up into like a bun right now. Like if I just so wanted to like, like these don't hurt. Oh, that's why I like do my own braids. They don't hurt. Cause like day one, throwing it up into a bun is nuts. We might be done. I love that they're not so wavy. I love that it looks like you just woke up. You just woke up and you're on the go. Now what? Now what? <laughs> I think I'm gonna just go stare in the mirror for like an hour or two. Maybe go to the grocery store. Somebody needs to see me. Somebody needs to see me. Where the party's at? Let me know. I think this is it guys if you have any questions about the hair about like what something that i did or like maybe i didn't explain something well definitely don't hesitate to comment let me know girl bye